Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see the overview of Azure Storage. Well, Azure Storage is a real player in the cloud storage game. Let's try to explore the services Azure Storage offers, including the blob, table, file and queue. So let me just log on to the portal and show you about the overview of the Azure Storage and the Azure Storage types. I'm logged on to the portal, so if you would, uh, you know, click on this home section and you would, you know, scroll down a bit, you'll see an option of storage, your know, storage accounts, or you can uh, click on create a resource and then create a storage account here. Let's go here, here. So Azure offers uh, uh, a storage account and within a storage account, we can choose from two kinds of storage services. It can be a standard storage, which includes blob, table, queue, table, uh, queues, and the file storage types, and a premium storage for Azure VM Desk. Then you would have the Azure uh, storage account. One is for the Azure blob storage, and uh, we have the Azure table storage, Azure file storage, Azure queue storage. So blob storage is basically storage for unstructured data that include pictures, videos, music files, uh, raw data and log data. And we have the Azure table storage. Table storage, as the name would suggest, is preferred for tabular data, which is ideal for key value, NoSQL data storage. Table storage is massively scalable and extremely easy to use with, like other NoSQL data stores. It is schema-less and accessed via a REST API. Then you would also have the Azure file storage. Azure file storage is meant for legacy applications. Azure VMs and services share their data uh, via mounted file shares. Uh, while on-premise application access the files using the file service, REST API, Azure file storage offers file shares in the cloud using the standard SMB protocol and supports both SMB3 and SMB2.1. Then you also have Azure Queue Storage. Queue Storage service is used to exchange messages between components, either in the cloud or on-premises. Then you have Premium Storage Account as well. So if you would see the Storage Account Wizard and like any other resource, it would be in a resource group. So if you would select Existing and you would select this you would have to type in the storage account name storage it already if, if it's taken by anyone in the world it will not be available to you you can select the location and the performance these are the the premium storage account and the standard so it depends upon the pricing that you want to offer so if you would see, standard storage accounts are backed by magnetic drives and provides the lowest cost per GB. Premium storage accounts are backed by solid state drives, SSD, and offer consistent low latency performance. They can only be used with Azure Virtual Machine. Risk and the best for IO intensive application. So if it's you who will decide what kind of storage account you want to use. And uh, while Azure Storage offers you the durability, as it was, storage data is replicated multiple times across the regions. And there are actually four ways you can make sure the data is stored. Uh, I mean, replicated, we have uh, locally redundant storage like LRS. We have zone redundant storage, ZNS, geo redundant storage, GRS, and read access geo redundant storage, RA hyphen GRS. It, it provides the high availability, uh, scalability, security. And uh, these are the differences. We have storage v2, storage general purpose v1, blob storage. You would see the general purpose storage account provides storage for blobs, files, tables, and queues in a unified account. Blob storage accounts are uh, special, specialized for storing blob data and support choosing an access tier, which allows you to specify access. You have the replication model as well. The data is in your Azure storage account is always replicated. Like I told you, the availability feature. Access tier, we have uh, the access count access tier is the default tier that is inferred for any blob without an explicitly. The hot access tier is ideal for frequently accessed data and the cold access tier is ideal for infrequently accessed data. 
this is the networking part uh, we can connect to your storage account either publicly via public ip address or service endpoint we have the connectivity method public endpoint pub, public endpoint selected networks in the private endpoint these are the different options that uh, the zero storage offers so the main things that i wanted to cover that it provides you the premium and the standard storage account differences it provides you durability high availability scalability security so the conclusion would be that azure storage service is a fine example of well designed architecture that fits many use cases uh, the microsoft provides an sla ranging from 99.9% to 99.99% it is an easy choice for users looking for scalable reliable and effectively in finite space so this video we covered uh, we introduced you to, you to the basics of azure storage services and uh, i will show you more about azure blob storage and different features of azure storage as well and you can check out my previous videos regarding the azure storage as well if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section till next time have a good day i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye